Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So nice to have you guys here in the room with me. Um, and thank you for joining my Empath Victim uh, workshop, which um, I... Uh, I'm quite excited to speak about today because I've got a lot of opinions on this and I thought I would want to share that with you guys because it is a bit of a contentious subject um, and people have dif different opinions on it and um, and I thought I just wanted to get back down to the nuts and bolts of like working with our energy and actually being in that space um, and just yeah, get back to basics on how we work with our energy and what this is actually all about um, because it's been feeling to me like um, this is a brilliant excuse to use to actually not engage with 3D life, okay? The best thing people can say is, oh my God, I'm an empath, I can't go there, I can't do this, I can't do that. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, mm, we need to start looking at our connection, our sensitivities from a different perspective, okay? And so I'm on a bit of a mission at the moment to get people to step back into their power, to start owning their energy, and actually to learn how to work with it properly versus just becoming, you know, like a slave to whatever you're feeling, etc. So when I started breaking it down, and I thought to myself, okay, so what do we start with here? We start speaking about your energy body. We start speaking about the fact that basically your body and who you are have been designed like really designed to be able to feel everything, okay? So right in the beginning of time, before our disconnection started, we were able to feel the earth, we were able to feel the trees, we were able to feel the crystals, we were able to feel the animals, we were able to feel other people. We are literally like mechanically put together to be able to connect to energies, okay? so. The fact that we don't want to feel stuff is a little bit of bypassing, okay? Because actually, you're meant to be feeling way more than what you are feeling at present. And a lot of our journey and our spiritual journey is actually to enhance our connection to energies. So why are we so scared of being able to connect to people and to things and the global feelings and how things are, etc.? Because there's good ways of managing this. Okay, so we're designed for this, we're meant to do this, we're meant to feel, so why are we all so scared of it? Okay, so all these electromagnetic fields that we have on the earth, okay, like being able to work with the currents of the earth, being able to actually feel like what is happening, um, you know, when we go to sacred sites, etc. like when we step into the energy there, if you close your eyes and you take a few minutes and you really start like immersing yourself in the energy, that's an amazing experience, okay? If you sit still enough and you put your hands on a tree and you start breathing with the tree and you can feel it, it's an amazing experience. Now, obviously, I'm not discounting the fact that there's a bunch of shitty people out there who feel awful and it's not really nice to connect with them and their energy is a bit drag. I totally get that. But overall, you need to start looking at your energy system and your ability to connect as one of the most natural, most beautiful things that we've all been given. Okay? So one of the big things that I also then went down is the patriarchal model. Okay? So what happened was that for such a long time, we have been conditioned to not feel. Okay? We have been conditioned to not connect. We've been told by the, the various religious models, churches, leaders, whatever out there, that you have to go through me to get to whatever energy there is. Okay, So we have basically been conditioned into a way of not understanding our energy, not connecting with our energy, not really like being able to feel, because we've been told you're not allowed to feel unless you feel through me. You're not allowed to experience God unless you go through me, okay? So we've basically just been brainwashed to believe that we don't have this gift connection, and hence no one's ever taught you about it. You're basically going through your life thinking, okay, that's fine, I'm just here. I don't understand why I feel really weird when I'm with this one. I don't understand why I feel really weird when big events are happening globally or when I wake up in the morning and there's pandemics happening and all that kind of stuff, right? because we haven't been taught this. Okay, so 
what we have forgotten is that right in the beginning, when we actually had our energy and we were in charge of it, we could decide what did we want to open up to and what did we want to close down to. That we have this ability to go, I'm not taking this on. I'm not actually going to take this and make it part of my energy. But because we don't have a constant practice of checking in with ourselves every day and understanding our energy, when we wake up and we're feeling quite hectic or freaked out, we don't go and say, well, maybe there's something happening in the collective. Maybe there's something going on with the energies out there. Maybe the, you know, the planets are lining up in a certain way, etc. So it's really important for you to actually start understanding, like, what's my energy doing? What am I feeling like today? What stuff's coming up for me? Or what is actually not my stuff? Okay, so what I want to do tonight is actually want us to do a little bit of a check-in so that you can start feeling into, like, what is your energy like? Like, are you drained? Are you feeling like you're giving too much out, etc.? Because if we do that on a daily basis, we can actually go, okay, this is mine. This is not mine. I know exactly where I'm standing. I don't have to take this on. I don't have to be anxious today because actually I've got nothing to be anxious about. Okay, so when we like can start breaking down the sections of this belongs to you, this belongs to me, already we're in a better position. Okay, so this is basically the thing that we really, really want to start like focusing on. It's like where are you at within your own energy system? This is part of knowing yourself. This is part of being able to function in the world. This is part of being able to go out there and just claim your own energy and actually take back your own energy. Okay. So the other thing that also comes up a lot is what I call the whole savior complex. Okay. Now I so often hear people going, oh, I can't be with that one or I can't be with this family member because they just drain me. They're sucking my energy dry. This is too much for me, etc." Now, I totally get that, but there's also a measure of someone sucking your energy dry means that you are consciously or subconsciously giving permission for someone to actually attach to your energy. You're giving someone permission to take from you in whatever way or form, not having boundaries, not saying no, basically making decisions that's not in alignment with what you actually require. So no wonder you're going to feel drained because you go to this person and you allow them to take from you when you don't want them to take from you. Okay, so this for me is really important. And us also stepping into that place where we feel like we need to help this one or we need to be there for other people. And then what are we doing? We are removing that energy of responsibility for their shit away from them, right? We're basically stopping them from being able to self-actualize, we're stopping them from being able to step into their own power because I think I know better, because I think I can save you, before, because I feel that I can help you and therefore I need to take whatever it is that you have and take it upon myself. Now for me and my design, um, I walk around like with an open energy center to take on everyone's energy. That's part of the work that I do. I know that about myself. So I have to be extra careful to when I step in a session with a client, for instance, to go, OK, where are you and where am I? What am I taking on? What am I transmuting for you? And what am I not? OK, because we can't take people's stuff, push it through our systems and actually transmute it without understanding what the consequence is for them at the end of the day. So if you can tune in and see, do I transmute energy for other people? You have to be very careful because you're disempowering them. Okay, so this is one thing that I really want you to start thinking about is like, where's your space with people around you, with your clients, with the people that you love, etc. Do you keep on taking away their lessons? Okay, do you keep on taking things from them that you're actually energetically also not supposed to be taking? Okay, so these are basically some of the things that I was thinking about. And I was like, okay, well, you know, this is not something that we speak about often because we just go, I can't deal with this. I'm just going to push it under the rug. I'm not going to go out my house. I'm not going to go and connect with people, whatever. But the thing is, when you actually understand your energy, when you start working on your boundaries, when you start understanding, like, what am I taking on? What am I pushing out? You can really start changing everything for yourself. Okay, so what I want you guys to do now is just take a few moments Close your eyes for me. 
and we're just going to quickly tune into our energy. Okay, so take a few deep breaths in. I want you to take a moment and to visualize what your energy field looks like. So imagine your beautiful big bubble of energy around you. Imagine having the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, all of those fields around you. Okay, so as you tune into this energy around you, and you feel into it, feel into your body, and feel for me where do you feel that you have tightness. I want you to move yourself around a little bit. So even if you need to juggle your shoulders or move your body around a bit, feel for me where's the tightness in your body. And then I want you to take your awareness to that point. So if it's in your shoulders, if it's in your neck, maybe in your back somewhere, wherever it is, I want you to tune into that right now. Now, as you feel that in your body, I want you to take a deep breath in and then ask the question, who is this connected to? And if there's a certain person that comes up for you, I want you to take note of this. If it's maybe a place where you work, if it's maybe a client of yours, whatever it is, I want you to become aware of that space in your body where you are holding energy and connecting with energy that is not in alignment. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I want you to open your eyes for me. Right. Did everybody get someone or something in their body that made them feel uncomfortable? Yeah? Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. So, who is this person to you, and why? Why are they stuck in your energy? Why are they taking up your energy? Why are you giving your energy to them? Whatever it is for you, but I want you to start thinking about the fact that this beautiful energetic bubble that you have around you has got a hole in it, and it's sending energy somewhere else, okay? Or it's allowing someone to come and suck energy from you. Whatever you're feeling in your body, it means that there's something or someone connected to that, which means that you're not in the space of empowerment in that relationship or in that situation or what's happening around you. Okay? So when we actually work it back and we come back to the nuts and bolts of it, how is it? Like what is that what is the root cause here? Is this someone that you may fear? Is this someone that you're trying to help? Um, is this someone who is basically taking something from you? I want you to really start feeling into like, what is it? Like, why are you allowing yourself to do this? Okay, why are you allowing yourself to go to this place? Okay, because these things, if we have one spot, we're going to have another spot as well. And we then keep on opening them up. And what I'm trying to teach people is that you are in charge of your energy. You are the one who needs to use this energy for whatever your, your role is in this world, however you're showing up in your families, in your workplace, whatever. This belongs to you. This is your sacred energy, and it doesn't belong to anyone else. And the moment that we realize that our power lies within the structure of our energy and the alignment within our energy, things start to change. Okay, We can start calling in. We can start creating what we want to because we're not leaking our energy into other places. So being an empath is awesome, but the minute that we actually start like, like respecting our energy and holding the space sacred, we change our interaction with the world, with the other energies, etc., because we're not leaking out everywhere. Okay, so you're doing this so that you can step back into your power. You're doing this so that you can actually become sovereign again. Okay, and that's the whole point of working properly with your energy is that sovereign state of being so that you can step back into your power and create what you want to create with your own energy without having to be in fear of going out into the world. Okay, so 
if you are having issues with individuals, if you are in that space where a, a person is taking from you, we always have to come back to what is that, what is that little place, that little trigger within me that that person sets off, okay? Why are they making me so angry? Why are they making me feel so disempowered? What is it that they evoke in you and you start analyzing from there? Do they bring up feelings of abandonment? Do they bring up feelings of like rejection, all of those things within you? And is that what's happening? Is that why you're allowing them to take from you? So if you can get back to the core of what it is with an individual or an organization, for instance, or a group of people, what is the core trigger there? Because the core trigger is the thing that's opening you up and making you less in your power. Okay, so always work backwards. Why am I feeling like this? What is this bringing up within me? And this is messing with my energy structure. Okay, because we are all entitled to a perfectly balanced, beautiful and whole energy structure. And this is what we basically want to work with. Okay, now, if you had the ability to see yourself in the way that your soul is constructed. Okay, so let me explain this. So you, as a person, have got all of these beautiful gifts, you've got all of these amazing things about you, etc. But, you know, very often because of our circumstances, how things are, traumas that we carry, all of that, we diminish that strength within us. We diminish who we are. Okay, and if we diminish who we are and what we're all about, we diminish this energy field and we open ourselves up. Okay, so the more sovereign we become, the more we step into our power, the more we basically create an energy field that is impenetrable. We create an energy field that, like I like to say, no one fucks with me because I am literally in the space where I hold space, okay, for my own energy. And for me, it's really important because people know where they stand with me. I'm clear in my energy field about what my boundaries are, what I allow and what I don't allow. Okay, so this is where this work is about us getting clear about who we actually are. Okay, who are you? Have you seen yourself? Have you gone to that place where you can experience yourself in the fullest, most perfect form? And that is how you embody your energy out in the world. Okay. So what I want to do tonight is I want to take you on a journey to go and meet some parts of yourself so that we can get you back into that space of actually experiencing yourself in the way that you're meant to experience yourself. Okay. Because if we work from the inside out, we strengthen this energy field and no one's going to mess with you. You don't have to be scared anymore. You don't have to be in that space of feeling disempowered like you're a victim of your own beautiful sensitive energy that is meant to feel everything in this world. Okay, cool. So, any questions before we go on our journey? You're more than welcome to put your hand up and ask anything that you want to ask. Okay. Cool. That's perfect. Then we will go journey. Right. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. Okay, take a few deep breaths in and out. Okay, so I'm going to call in all of the beautiful energies that we need to work with tonight for every single person listening, for everyone who will be listening. We're asking that whatever energy needs to come in, it be the right one for the highest good. But I seek you out there. So as I invite in the beautiful energies right now, I'm going to open the circle and ask that everything that we do in this space is protected. I'm going to ask that everything that comes through tonight is for the highest good. Yasata Iroko. And as I open up the circle, Mesiase, Sokorota, Helichia Trenda, Kira Masiaso, Sosota, Helichiake, Amarashe, Orosokoratiate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. 
So let me see where we're going to journey to tonight. Oh, Okay. So imagine yourself now standing here next to me. You can bring whatever guides you want to bring with, whatever power animals you want to bring with, whatever angels you want to bring with into the space. All of it's welcome right here with us right now. So as we see ourselves walking into the mountains, these beautiful, beautiful high mountains, and we're walking deeper and deeper into the mountains. Got the cliff faces to the left, to the right. Sky is blue. It's a lovely breeze moving through the air. And you're just walking behind me. And as you're walking behind me, you can feel your feet on the ground. You can feel how you feel really at home in this space. Like this is a familiar space. This is a place that we've been before. We're choosing to come back here today, deep within the mountains. And as we walk deeper and deeper, and we see in front of us a beautiful carved temple face into the rock. You can see all of the entrances going in. There's multiple entrances leading in. You can see the big pillars in the front. You can see the steps moving up. You can see yourself gently, gently walking towards the steps. And as you walk up the steps and into the cool building, walking all the way to the center, this huge room, lit up by thousands of candles, amazing carvings into the rocks. And you feel yourself completely at ease within the energy of the earth here, within the energy of this mountain right now. I'm going to ask you to just take a seat on the floor with me. Placing your hands on the floor next to you. I want you to gently start breathing in and out. And as you place your hands on the floor, we're going to start by feeling the pulse of the earth. That beautiful frequency of the earth. It's like a heartbeat. Like a magical heartbeat. And you can just imagine those beautiful waves, those frequency waves that the earth pushes out. And as you sit here, you allow your energy to embrace these waves. You see your energy opening up. And taking these beautiful waves in. And you realize that these waves that come into your energy field emanating from the earth seems to balance out your own energy structure so beautifully. And these waves make your beautiful bubble of energy that you live in feel really calm and serene. And you just feel how all of the earth is literally holding you every single moment of every single day. And this beautiful energy field that we walk in, that we live in, that we are so unaware of, Make time to start connecting with it, to feel it every day. Because that will remind you that your energy field is connecting with this every single day. Okay. Sayya kutata. Right. So as we have this energy here, just holding our space for us so beautifully. 
I want you to take a look at your beautiful, beautiful bubble of light around you, your own energy field. I want you to see it stretching out. And we want to see that out there. I want you to imagine yourself now taking a look at it. How strong is this field? How contained is this field around you right now? How safe do you feel in your own energy field? How safe do you feel? Because this energy field is meant to be your safe space. This is the place where we live and this energy field is our sacred, sacred energy field. So if you're feeling like your energy field is full of holes, like you're leaking energy, like people and everything around you just feels so overwhelming, and certain people just seem to really, really dig in at this energy field and really seem to trigger you so much. Okay, so I want you to move your attention to the center of your chest right now. Keep that awareness of what your bubble looks like right now. So in the center of your chest, see the beautiful golden ball of light, which is a representation of your spirit, of who you are. See how big that feels at the moment, see how small it feels, see what your energy center is feeling like right now. Okay, and just be in awareness of what your body is telling you, what your fields are telling you right now. These things are so important when we really start loving and understanding these aspects of ourselves. We just realize how incredibly magical we are, how amazing our structure of this body, this magical body is, and how we so often forget that we are the boss of this body, that we are the boss of this energy field, that we are in complete control of this. Nothing is out of your control. You're so much stronger, so much stronger than you know. So as we just become into the space of full awareness of our own energy body, I want you to drop into your heart right now. And as we are here in this space together, I want you to see yourself walking towards yourself. That beautiful, energetic soul of yours See your soul walking towards you right now. And I want you to really tune into the energy of your own unique, beautiful, amazing soul. I want you to look at that structure of that energy field. I want you to see how that beautiful soul of yours, the blueprint of that soul, of what it is, and allow yourself to tune into that visual, that feeling, whatever it is for you, how you want it to look, how it comes across. See that. The soul, allow it to come closer, to come and sit right in front of you, right here, right now, right in front of you. Placing your hands on your knees with your palms facing upwards. Allow your soul now to connect with your energy. And take a moment now to see yourself in that place, in that place of wholeness, in that place of sovereign, sovereign energy. Feel what your body feels like 
when you're not allowing anyone else to take from you anymore. Feel what it feels like. Remind yourself, even if it wasn't in this lifetime, even if you've never felt in this lifetime that you own all your energy, ask your soul to show you what it was like when it was like that, even if it wasn't in this life, even if it was in a very, very different place. But go back to the place of the feeling of being whole in your energy field and the feeling of being fully and utterly safe within your own energy field. Just take a moment to feel that. Feel your body. Let it speak to you. Teorosa celestiande coroto nahi amatre colahi. Tiavase raseta yenda le coroto donya take. Aria masse coroso cotranda hia cola kia trenda. Hia sesa hia cotoroto nahi ama. Aia coroto. And as you take this image of this whole energy field of yours, this energy field that is really, really solid, that is strong and fearless and beautiful, and feel that within your body, feel that strength coming out of your hands, feel that strength coming out of your heart, your sacral, just feel yourself in this beautiful, beautiful energy field of yours, the sacred energy field, this field that you, that you own, that you love, that you manage, that you look after. And as we take this beautiful healing energy that your soul brings with it, Allow those holes to be filled. Allow the clarity within yourself to understand why you open up. Allow that feeling of knowing to fill your heart. And allow yourself to let all of this go right now any of those old feelings that you've been holding on to. See it, take it, and let it go. Because your energy is needed on this planet right now. Your energy is needed for where you are going. Your energy is so needed for what you are doing and how your soul wants you to show up on this planet, not a victim, but a sovereign, beautiful being, ready to walk on this planet in an energy field that is so expansive and so strong that they will all know, they will all know. And when we own our own energy field, the whole world changes. The whole world around you changes. And so feel this energy around you swirling, and becoming stronger and stronger and stronger as you reclaim all of who you are as you allow this to settle back into your body right now, as you allow this to guide you going forward, this beautiful knowing that you are so strong, this beautiful knowing that they cannot and they will not move into the sacred energy body. Dashion dasakira masekola shandakerata otahen 
haya kala mahasa kin da he otra te shande rese toro no to hi ala rama koroto to hi sandia ke rase kora si asenda ya ya te na So visualize yourself now standing up. All of this energy around you. Saying thank you to your soul. To that beautiful strong spirit that you carry within you. I want you to look at the flame in your heart. That deep remembering of why you are here, how you want to show up. Allow that to be filled. Allow that to be filled right now. Hai yasake traniata hai lecho trana he kereniato shate hi ala shakerenia ke avara sekuta hi andala he marati ki sekia trondo. Aya toro no kola he mara se kuronda ke aka i o taranen. Aya sata ala he ndo he amata ya kuru tu ya nenen. He si a se kutanan. Aya te. Right. And just take a moment to say thank yourself. To thank yourself for having gone what you've gone through in this life. To thank yourself for those moments when you didn't have the right boundaries. Those moments where you felt overwhelmed. All of these things are part of what we are learning. All of these feelings, all of it is valid. But there comes a time, there comes a time when you are ready to let that all go. There comes a time when you are ready to say enough is enough now. I want it all back. I want me back. I'm ready for this, this journey of mine, this beautiful journey. I'm so ready for it. Yara singe ate. So as you see yourself now walking out of this beautiful temple, down those stairs, feel that energy around you, feel that solidness within you, feel that strength in your heart moving you forward. Feel your vision open and clear and your heart, your heart so full of love right now. So as we see ourselves now slowly walking back the pathway that we came and in yourself as you're walking back just thank yourself, thank your soul and all the energies that accompanied you tonight. And we thank all of the other energies that worked with us tonight as well. And as we walk all the way back, seeing yourself pulling all of your consciousness, your awareness back into your actual body now. Feel yourself slowly disconnecting from the realms that we visited today. Feel yourself coming back into the room, back into your body solidly. And walk yourself right back to the place where we started our journey from. And as you plant your feet there, I want you to see how Mother Gaia is taking her energy and she's pulling you back down into the room, how she's pulling you back down into consciousness, how she's pulling you back down into awareness, 
of your body, of who you are, of where you are, of all that you are. Masi of God out there. Right, so as I now close the circle, Mesio Kase, Sarata Kiana, Eretia Vase, Ulusha Tandra, Kila Matrekos, Hesia Senda, Erotianen, Imiako, Rasia Sen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rasia Sen, Sukurata, Imiakia. Deep breath in and out. Start opening up your eyes when you're ready. Okay. Beautiful. Right. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that journey. And I hope you, you saw what I saw. And I hope you saw yourself in the most beautiful, beautiful way. Because there's so much more. There's so much more. So, yeah. (laughs) Right. So go forth and keep your kick-ass, strong, super bubble going. Okay. This energy body belongs to you. Please. Just own it. Claim it. Work with it. Look after it. Just please. We need you guys. Okay. So I'm wishing you a beautiful evening. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you. And, um, yeah, have a beautiful day ahead. Thank you so much. Cool. Any questions, anyone, before I? All good? Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.